Let's, let's do a geeky science here, if we could. Geeky science music. There we go. It's our official geeky science music. This was a, a new study that was published in Nature's online journal, Scientific Reports. And what it found, here's the kind of science part of it. This is about climate change. What it found was that for every 10 degrees, that's of latitude, every 10 degrees north from the equator you move, spring arrives about four days earlier than it did just 10 years ago, just a decade ago. Now, to translate that into, you know, actual stuff you can imagine, what that means is that in the, at the latitude of Los Angeles, New Orleans, or Dallas, spring is arriving one day earlier than it did just a decade ago. But at the latitude of Seattle, Chicago, or Washington, D.C., spring is arriving four days earlier. And at the latitude of, of northern Alaska, the Arctic, spring is arriving 16 days earlier. Now, not only is this obviously a, a massive leading indicator of global warming, and you know you combine that with all the other evidence we're seeing of global warming, like these wild storms and weather anomalies becoming the new norm, but the other big problem is that birds and insects and, and some other migrating animals as well, uh, and hibernating animals, have different ways of measuring when spring has arrived. Some of them do it based on how long the days are. And the days are not getting any longer or shorter. The, the days are, you know, the, the daylight is starting at the exact same time it was 10 years ago, 10,000 years ago. Other animals measure their, you know, when spring comes by some sort of internal clock that seems to just be rigid. And, and most animals do it based on temperature. So what is happening is Birds are, are hatching, uh, you know, looking for food for their, uh, you know, they're hatching their eggs, they're looking for food for their babies, or they're arriving in, migra you know, in, in places that they migrate through looking for food. But the insects, ha you know, they haven't got the message yet, right? They, they don't know that spring was 16 days early. And so there's no food for the birds. And so the birds are dying. Or some kinds of insects eat other kinds of insects. And so we're, we're seeing all these imbalances that are occurring in the ecosystem that are getting worse and worse the farther north you go. And this is really dangerous, destructive stuff, not just in the context of extinctions. Changing ecosystems may end up changing in ways that are hostile to human life and or hostile to other kinds of life as well. Plus, of course, this is just more and more solid, irrefutable evidence that every Republican in the House and Senate who are lying to you and Fox News and uh, right-wing hate radio who are lying to you on behalf of petro-billionaires in this country, the big oil dynasties, the big oil companies, the big coal dynasties, uh, that they are, that they're just plain old flat out wrong. And they know that they're wrong. They know that they're lying to you. But they, but they continue to do it anyway. It's, uh, they're probably very well, well paid for it.